guys and welcome back to the Summer View Project. This is episode two of a three-part series. I'm Janet Campbell and I am the principal designer here at Linen and Orchid. In the last episode, there was nothing that was done to the home. It was pretty much bare bones. And I kind of showed you some of the design goals along with some renderings. Well, we've been through and done a lot of things since we've last met. And today I'm gonna show you some more behind the scenes I'm also gonna introduce you to the team and go over the process. So let's go take a look and see what we've been doing. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. This is the part of the project that I love because I get to see my vision come to life. And of course, I get to make sure to let my clients know, hey, how things are going. And this is my painter, Scott. Hey, Scott. <laughs> so now let's go check out if my project manager, Michelle, has arrived. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Janet. <laughs> so I want to introduce you guys to my project manager, Michelle. She is the one that coordinates all of the activities and she's amazing <laughs> at help making sure that I stay on task, right? It's like herding all the cats, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle, I see we've done a lot of work here. Things are on the yeah. way. So where are we at in the process? We are just finishing up the demolition stage and now we're entering the rebuild stage of this project and the paint stage. One of the first things that you did was you went to look for contractors specifically for this project. So tell me, what's your thought process when you go out to vet these contractors? Well, this project is a little unique because we have a lot of stonework. It's, oh yeah. It's heavy in countertops and fireplace. So I started asking questions of the contractors about their skill set working with high-end stone like the quartzite we're using in this project. And I cannot wait for the finished product. Me either. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people watching this. What, what would be the number one advice you would give people to avoid as far as any pitfalls? Um, the number one advice I would give you is proposals are exactly that. They are an estimate of what your project is going to cost. Mm -hmm. You need to pad your budget 10 to 15% to avoid any kind of sticker shock. That is so, so true. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna introduce you to the GC. Okay, so I'm looking for a general contractor and I think she's just around the corner. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Janet, how's it going? Oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> So let me introduce you to Kristen. She's our general contractor for yes, this project. And one of the things that attracted me to you is the fact that you have great attention to detail. Thank you. And as a designer, I could appreciate that. Thank so you thank much. you very much. No problem. Um, so when you took on this project, what is your number one goal? Um, just the details again. Um, just making sure that the client sees all of those when they come in the home for the first time once it's finished um, and really just follow through with details, detail, details, um, just to set us above the rest. Yes, ma'am. And I know what you're going to say, but what was one of the biggest challenges that we had in this project? Um, I'm going to go with the electrical. The electrical has probably been our biggest one so far, um, just bringing this 21-year-old home up to date and uh, making sure we get all the tech-savvy smart switches in there. That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> And being that we are in this phase, yes, um, what would you tell a client? What's your biggest advice for them? Um, I would just say overlook the mess. Um, you know, if you come in and take a peek at your project, just hold on and, you know, we're getting there. Um, don't look at anything. <laughs> and look. like I told my clients, because they're coming tomorrow to take things, I said, don't yes, freak yes. out. Yes. Because yes, we all yes, know yes. that the end is product is always, always comes out really yep good. and always just so different than the middle process yes ma'am yep. well thank you Kristen I'm gonna let you go because I know okay. we're still got a lot yep. of work to do and I am actually gonna go over the process so now you guys understand a little bit more what's involved so now let's talk about the different phases in a project so when I first meet with a client, the best way I like to describe the phases is I break it down to them in three different parts. I want them to know what to expect when they're going into a remodel or a project like this. So the first phase is 
the design phase. That's when I collaborate with my clients, we go over all of their designs, I create a visual board, and then I end it with the 3D renderings, which I gave you guys a little sneak peek in the first episode. Then the second phase, that's where we're in today. That's the construction phase, and that's where we're taking all of those design ideas and we're bringing them to life. Then the last phase, that's the fun phase. That's the presentation, and that is something that I'm gonna show you in the next episode. If you're working on a project, I would love to help design your sanctuary within. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Janet Campbell with Linen and Orchid. Bye-bye.